Libra, what's up, Libra? This your girl, Alice, and I'm back with another one. This is the Hubble Space, brought to you by Secrets Beyond the Tarot Tarot Group. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe before your way out today. So, 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 so. I'm just, I don't know why I'm getting that song. Meet me at 11.30. All right, so who we on? We on Libra? How could I ever forget that? Libra. Libra. Why do I get that song? Leave me alone. Get your bags. Get the hell on. I don't know. I think I'm mixing two songs. I don't know, because I got that one, and then I got, um, I don't want you no more i don't know i think those are two different songs but whatever the case is definitely feels like uh based on the two songs that i just got a motherfucker is leaving somebody is getting the fuck out of dodge uh may 31st through june 6th <laughs> somebody is and if you already physically left somebody is taking a energy away like there's something i heard seals the deal something that seals the deal so we got hasta la vista baby and then we have pick up after yourself. Ooh, yeah, y'all done done. Y'all done done. When you stop catering to a motherfucker, um, uh, imperfect imperfections, um, yep, yep. When you stop catering to a motherfucking imperfections, yep, yep, it's over. <laughs> I stick a fork in me. I'm done. I was yawning and shit. Yeah, you tired? <laughs> Somebody tired, Libra. I don't know who the fuck you're dealing with, but you're tired. It's done. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Somebody is over it. This is the type of motherfucker that you know is a good-ass motherfucker, and you love the fuck out of this motherfucker. This is the energy I'm getting. You know this motherfucker, good motherfucker, and you love the shit out of this motherfucker. You know this motherfucker has some real good attributes, and this motherfucker could be a real good citizen um, of their uh, of civilization or of society. However, um you just don't think that this person is for you anymore. You've probably grown out of this person. That's what it feels like. That's what it all boils down to, Libra. It feels like you have grown out of this person. I can't even lie. It feels like you are ready to walk away. And if you already have, you are wanting to pull your energy completely away from this person. Y'all may have kids with each other. If y'all don't have kids with each other, y'all got some type of ties, family ties, um, some type of ties where you still are kind of in this person's energy, uh, vice versa. Definitely feels like this is the type of person, Libra, um, like I said, you um you just used to cater, vice uh take it as it resonates. This could be the other way around, but you probably uh, find yourself catering a whole lot to things that you knew that were red flags in the beginning, or things that you knew you could not um withstand for a long term amount of time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you looked over them and you felt like you would uh, just be willing to make it work and compensate it just because of the emotional tie um, or the emotional investment that you have uh, made with and for this person. Um, definitely just feeling like, uh, but that's out of the door. Like it sucks. Cause I don't know why I'm feeling like somebody kind of acting mean. Somebody, Libra, somebody could be feeling bad about how they're treating somebody because, but they're over this person. You, your, you, your lack of interest, your lack of interest and unwillingness to kind of put any more energy or to invest in this situation again um, is showing through your actions, through your temperament, through your patience, through the way you handle this person or people or make it fit how it fit, baby. But yeah, definitely just feels like Libra is starting to show through, yeah, your temperament and your your behavior this person is really starting to feel unwanted possibly feel just defeated because it feels like this person wants it to work it does it feel like this person still wants you but you're tired you're done i'm exhausted doing this reading for real i feel like all my energy just drained out i was turned for the capricorn reading before this one but yeah i definitely feel like 
this is one of them situations where you just kind of grow apart. You know what I'm saying? Like gradually, it's almost like a rope after so long. You know what I'm saying? After the storms, weather, rain, sun, you know what I mean? After going through all of these seasons, eventually it becomes worn. And eventually it got like one tie left and until it detaches completely. And that's kind of what I see for this uh this partnership, this union. Feels like it was just at its 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 last its its last uh I forget what you say. What do you how do you say it? Your your last I'm at my last wits, I guess. But yeah. Definitely feel like um somebody is leaving and they could they're ecstatic. And I feel like it's so bad that this person is leaving and they are static, but they <laughs> they don't want to be bogus. But it's like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's like I'm just I gotta get the fuck up out of here because if I don't, I'll be stuck forever. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Like maybe this person is very like manipulative and don't even realize they manipulative. Maybe this person is very codependent and don't even realize it or maybe they do but it's i don't know it just feels like this person is subconsciously keeping you trapped and bound and binded up this person has good intentions and they're a very good person but they're not perfect you know what i'm saying and the person this person that you leave in is just like they just want they know and com are comfortable with you guys being together and they want it they want it like that this could be a very fixed sign which is probably why because what i'm feeling is it's a lack of interest it's a lack of like you guys just it's it's a miss it's a miss you guys probably forced compatibility in the beginning and kind of recognized it as a, a win or 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 something that can work based on your emotions and that uh adrenaline and you know what i mean it being new and you know who the excitement who wouldn't be excited everything you get something you know what i'm saying you get a new prada bag uh you get a new prada bag you know out, up out the store and it got the little you know the holder the holding bag and you know it smells like genuine leather or whatever the fabric is and it, you just happy you in awe and you love it you don't care about nothing else you just love it and that's kind of how i feel like this connection started off it started off like just ooh, the love was intense you you guys probably were inseparable but as time progressed there were things you know what i mean probably red flags there were things that you just logically knew you were not willing to accommodate for much longer or long term you know what i'm saying whether it be this motherfucker not picking up behind themselves, whether it be this person's belief systems the way they were brought up um whether it be it could be from the most significant things to the most minute things literally or it could have started off significant things. And now it's just like, you so fed up. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, your patience is just like nowhere. You don't have any more for it, you know? Because you're done. You're you're no longer emotionally uh, invested. You have left the building. So it's like now any little thing, it don't even have to be catastrophic. Like literally any um, monocule size thing, like you're... You, <laughs> Picking up your clothes, washing a dish, you fucking spaz. You are no longer there. You have left the building. It's you're done. Stick a fork in me, like I said. You are tired. It feels like two people who have literally grown apart. And this week it feels like there's going to be one thing. Somebody has felt like They've been trapped. Someone's been feeling trapped in a situation, Libra. Somebody has been feeling like they, they're, they've been trying to find an escape route, trying to find an excuse, something. But at the same time, something about guilt or obligation made a motherfucker feel tra entrapped or felt like in this mental, emotional prison or manipulated to the point where they wouldn't leave and pick up and go or leave this person by themselves. You could have felt like this was be uh, becoming more of a parental type of relationship and it was bugging you. It was eating at you. Like, I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. You know what I'm saying? 
whatever the case is, feels like one person was definitely leaning on the other one more than the other one could um, lean on that person. Very, um, very uneven, very unrequited. So Libra definitely feels like this week, um, there may be a big blow up, definitely feeling like something may happen this week where it's like it, you feel like it gives you, um, an escape route, an escape goat. You probably low key got all your shit, uh, all your ducks in a row and shit. You just waiting. You know what I'm saying? You got your keys to your new apartment and everything. Somebody been making plans to get away from a motherfucker, but they've been staying around contingent. It don't really feel like they tied to nothing. Maybe you are, but it kind of just feels like it's it's more of a mental thing that's been keeping somebody stuck. Either way, or some form of manipulation, but either way, shit, this week, you saying fuck all that. This week, <laughs> Like one little thing gonna happen, motherfucker gonna eat that motherfucking snicker you didn't hit in the back of the freezer and shit for you for you for that time of the money and shit, and your ass gonna spaz, motherfucker, and touch your snicker and shit. The motherfucker you didn't been telling this motherfucker since since seven years ago when y'all first met. Do if I have anything in the back of the freezer and it's just sitting there, I'm waiting on a specific time to eat that motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's been a year, my nigga. Don't touch my shit motherfucker like all right bet <laughs> every time they get your shit and you you know what i'm saying when the love was there you was you was patient you was like okay i tell you this every motherfucking week you was trying to be patient and shit but this week libra <laughs> that's my fuck up this motherfucker gonna fuck around and touch the snicker and you gonna spaz you gonna spaz and if you don't spaz, you gonna leave so motherfucking quick. You gonna leave so motherfucking quick. I mean, your motherfucking silhouette, your shadow ain't even gonna be able to keep up with your ass. You gonna be gone so quick. You gonna ghost this motherfucker so quick. They would have rather you burnt the house down. They would have rather you stayed and argued and fought. They would have rather you made a big scene. They gon' know. The way you leave this shit, once whatever this situation or this shit happens, you find some shit out, you hear some shit, this motherfucker do some shit, yo ass, mm -mm, it's done. Yeah, they gon' know. They gon' know, Libra. <laughs> oh, fuck. They gon' know. I don't know what else to say. They gon' know it's done. In the past, you probably did it. You know what I'm saying? When shit settled in and, um, Shit blew over, motherfuckers will probably call you and, and possibly, you know, try to hash some shit out big and shit. Pull up where you at and shit. If you if they know you used to go into a certain family member or a certain hotel or some shit, they pull up on you and shit. This time, somebody been, been planning the escape. <laughs> you gone, Libra. Oh, shit. Well... Good luck with that, y'all. That has been you guys' weekly reading. Hope you guys like it. Please like, share, subscribe.